In this problem, we want to evaluate each function at a given value of the independent variable and simplify. We got g of x is equal to x to the third minus 2x squared plus 4x. And uh, there's my wife screaming and my stepson. And we want to find g of 1. And I'm going to go through my function. Everywhere I have an x, I'll put in parentheses. So I have parentheses to the third power minus 2 times parentheses squared plus 4 times parentheses. Now notice everything else remains the same. I just replace the x with parentheses. Now whatever's inside the parentheses here is automatically we're going to put in the parentheses over here. So put 1 here, 1, and 1. And then simplify it. 1 to the third is 1 minus 2 times 1 squared. 1 squared is 1 plus 4 times 1 is 4. So we've got 1 minus 2 plus 4, which gives us negative 1 plus 4, which is 3. Now b, we want to find g of negative 2. Now we're going to go through, and everywhere we have an x, we'll put in parentheses. Everything else remains the same. So we've got parentheses to the third power, minus 2 times parentheses squared, plus 4 times parentheses. And again, whatever's inside the parentheses is where we plug in the parentheses over here. So put in negative 2, negative 2, and negative 2. And then we want to simplify it. Negative 2 to the third is negative 8, minus 2 times negative 2 squared, which is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And we've got negative 8, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. So we've got 3 negative 8s, which gives us negative 24. Now C, we want to find g of negative x. Again, we're going to go through our function. Everywhere we have an x, we'll put in parentheses. So we've got parentheses to the third power minus 2 times parentheses squared plus 4 times parentheses. Always, whatever's inside the parentheses here is what we put in over here. So we'll put in negative x here, and negative x, and negative x. Well, negative x to the third power is negative x to the third. Negative x times negative x is a positive x squared times another negative x gives you a negative x to the third. Minus 2, negative x squared, negative x times negative x is a positive x squared. And 4 times negative x is negative 4x. And that's our answer. Now D, we want to find G of 5B. So again, we're going to go through our function. Everywhere we have uh, x, we put in parentheses. Everything else remains exactly the same. Whatever is inside the parentheses here is what we're going to plug in down here. So we put 5b here, 5b here, and 5b here. Now 5b to the third power. 5b times 5b is 25b squared times another 5b. Uh, 25 times 5 gives us 125, and b squared times b gives us b to the third. Minus 2 times... 5b squared, 5b times 5b is 25b squared, plus 4 times 5 gives us 20b. So we got 125b to the third, minus 2 times 25 is 50b squared, plus 20b. And that's our answer.